I do find it very nice to start out an episode with this very relaxing music in this very fancy hotel with the, the seahorse lamps, as they probably are. Anyways, this is Earthbound. It's probably part 31, I think, something like that. I'm, I'm talking about parts as if they're relevant, but I believe we go into the dinosaur museum or whatever you call it. I just uh, gained some levels off screen. Did I talk to you yet? I'm uh, trying to figure out a good volume. Um, this should be good, but I can't tell because I'm just like recording it off the laptop speakers, which are um, completely fucked up, by the way. These laptop speakers are really blown out. Um, I was making like... Uh, noise music, weird stuff like that. Um, yeah, and obviously I should have been wearing headphones, but yeah, you know, laptop speakers are generally not good, is what I'm learning. I should probably replace mine eventually. I've had mine since 2019. Yeah, um, Ram Ranch, etc. That's the first thing I thought of when I saw that. Yeah, we already we already went here. There's pretty much one thing that we need to do here. You know, since we have Pooh in our party, um, he's carrying a certain item that we could exchange to get through. What's that about? We had some eerie noise, which... <clears throat> yeah, I've heard that sound many times. I don't exactly know what it's for yet, because I kind of forget. All right, so um, I forget what's in here other than let's not get um, let's not let them have a, a, an advantage on us. So we'll turn immediately. Heh <laughs> heh Okay, so what do we see? Yeah, nice power stance going on. It's a shattered man. He's a broken soul. Shit, what's wrong with Jeff? I don't remember him having that um, status. We just got out of the hotel, so. Dude. That is not good. Come on. God damn it. Whatever. We probably can use a secret herb, I guess, but, um... I mean, these aren't too hard to come by. They're not incredibly, like, expensive, from what I remember. You know, just a quick warning before you watch any of my other Earthbound videos, because you're on part 31, you know. Um, I am bad at RPGs, I'm bad at Earthbound. Why is this background reminding me of like, god damn it, chocolate bars? I don't care, Let, let's get Jeff to do the thing. Or, um, yeah. I think we need to, to level up our creatures. Creatures as if um, we're playing Pokemon, but we're not. Yuck. Yeah, this is rough. Ness is so over level. This is really embarrassing, isn't it? We gotta go away. Hang on, I'll be back. God, imagine playing or LPing this game without cutting anything out. That would be very um, bad. Maybe it's happened before. I, I do not know. Oh yeah, I should probably say that um, this may or may not be like the last time I upload for a while because I'm going out of town. Um, but I mean, probably everyone in that house works except for me, so I'll probably have more time to do that. Yeah, it's uh, good again.
did it, did it, did it. It's kind of like a, I was kind of doing it to the beat of the song, which is funny. Yeah, not much to talk about this. Um, it's, it's damaged, man. Um, what else could I talk about? Oh yeah, we have the HP sucker now, because um, Jeff fixed that overnight. I still don't know what the Dragonite is. What does Mirror do again? I do not know. We're gonna see. I can't get over that name, it's so dramatic. Alright, so we did it, Reddit. Now I want a chicken wrap. That'd be very nice. Not a mummified chicken wrap. I wonder how you'd go about that making like a Halloween treat that's just a... I don't know. Creative things like... Uh, I knew one, one time I was at a Halloween party as a kid and they made cat litter cake which was just like some sort of like cake texture um and also like um what are, what are they called like the tootsie rolls i should be reading this the deep darkness i believe that's a location i don't actually follow the story of this game too much Yeah, Scaraba is our next location. I do know that much. It's definitely a lot less expensive to buy things there. What did we get? Sorry, I'm just like dead. Hieroglyph copy. I don't know what we'll need that for, but um, yeah, we should be expecting a phone call. If I'm correct, because I... You know, made sure I knew what I was doing prior to doing this vid. Let's just answer the phone call, you know, because, you know, it's not like this is just a business. And it's, it's definitely our phone to, to answer. That's, that's funny. That's, uh... It's kind of cute, I guess. So yeah, we go to Foreside now, which is good. I guess we, we're, we're kind of at a split path, but we can go to Foreside because that's, you know... Shoot, if I could actually get there. Now, which... Um... Okay, it's this one. It's a perfect stretch of land. Yes. Oops. Yeah, so uh, let's go find our museum. It's real. I hate this town. Like, I mean, it's a nice town and all. It has nice music, very iconic music from the. Um, you know, obviously this what this uh, stage was in, but this town was in Smash Bros. Melee. I think it was only in that one. Probably in um, Ultimate. I don't really know much about Ultimate other than. I think it has like all the stages of any Smash game or something like that. I don't know. So let's go talk to, um, what's his name? Yep, that's fine. I don't think we've actually been in here yet. We might have been in here, I'm not sure. Yeah, good luck. I like this this uh, statue though. Or yeah, I'm not even gonna crack myself. Uh, hang on a minute. So I don't even know who this man is. I don't know if he works here or if he's just like chilling, you know, being a roadblock, you know, as many RPG characters tend to be. Yeah, I 
think a lot of our first experience with that was probably the man who wanted his coffee. Which, uh, I forget. I had my own, like, weird memory about that sequence. I don't know where I'm going with this. I can't really remember. It's just one of those vague things that I remember being different from the actual game, but I can't remember exactly what detail. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Topola... Topola... Tapioca Theater. Um, I'm doing this because... Uh, because... This game is very... Confusing to navigate sometimes. Where are we going? God damn it. Hang on, I'll, I'll be back. Uh, shit. Okay, so we're here with the swanky music, and yes, I did just uh, accidentally load the wrong save state. Or, I mean, I, I meant to, to turn the video off, but I loaded this the save state, you know? Uh, okay, I guess we gotta buy a ticket then? Yeah. Sure. No, it seems like we would have to buy, um, four tickets, but I guess we would only need one. So we're, we're supposed to talk to a What's-Her-Face, and she should be backstage. We're not gonna see the show, cause... Actually, no. We we do need to see the show. That's EXP points. Seeing that in public, like you're some sort of like, I don't know, socially inept person. Yeah, maybe we didn't see this one. I guess no. We yeah, we didn't see Venus. That's kind of funny. I guess I'll, I'll uh, not say much here. Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm just being silly. I like this, this voice chat kind of thing. Kind of sounds like meows. Like Jingle Meows or whatever, that like CD that came out in the 90s was just like Christmas carols with meows, the silly stuff. This song is also making me think of, um, there's a track in the original Pilot Wings called Rocket Belt. There's a song that goes like, ba, 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 silly stuff. Did he just try to get on stage? Is that is that the joke they made? It's, it's a weird bald looking guy. Bald looking guy. Called my mom's boyfriend Pawn Stars looking ass and he yelled at me. This is really extended, isn't it? Yeah, it was quite extended. It was like, it felt like two minutes or something like that, but I could just be wrong. Why is everybody here blonde? That's so weird. I always went really weird. It was like very exaggerated. Like, I think, I think some of my 2009 LPR is coming back out. Nobody's, these aren't real people. These are just like, uh, you know, it's a program to say this. Well, literally, you know, I'm playing a video game. And she's gonna sign a thing for us. Ba, ba, ba. That's pretty funny. You better take a picture of that because it's uh, definitely gonna smack. Yeah, it's definitely uh, gonna degrade in some time. I don't know how long it takes to, to disintegrate a banana peel, but probably. Uh, 
under a month, I would say. Oh, hi. Uh, now we go back to the Muslim mausoleum. No, that's not what that is. If we could find the museum. Dinosaur Muse. Um, I never liked that band. By that I mean I never gave them a chance. The only thing I know about Muse is that one Retsu Prey video of a drunk Mario Kart where the guy's like blaring Muse songs or something like that. That's a classic one. And Chip Cheesem. I believe. Okay, I gotta pull it out. Yeah. Here's your here's your stinky banana peel, signed banana, as it's called in the in the, the game. Extraordinary, not extraordinary. Light shining. Yeah, monster rats. I know about those right now. Let me tell you, it's like 2.30 a.m., so this would be the time I would hear it. Ah, uh, you know what? I think we'll save this for the next video. Have a good one.